Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The air conditioner is pretty loud. We're going to solve that. All right, another main reason why we're upgrading this air conditioner, not only because it's loud, as you can hear in the background, but it's 82 degrees in here right now, and the air conditioner just doesn't stop running. It can't catch up in this Florida heat. So we need to address that problem. All right, so guys, the reason why we're going with this mini split is A, this air conditioner is just ridiculously loud. It can't keep up with the summer heat down here in the south, which we tend to be in quite a bit. And it's way more efficient. So ultimately, we want to try to be able to run this thing off our solar system as we grow our solar. So um, what I, I've scratched my head where I'm going to put this thing. And I've decided to take these two cabinets doors off, take this divider out, and actually mount this guy right inside this cabinet so that all you can see is the front of it and then we're going to try to hide the lines going down behind the um, the curtains there and then behind the couch and then we're going to go out to the back and we're going to mount the air this is the air handler side the condenser side is going to be mounted on the back bumper somehow so we're still kind of working this out but hopefully everything goes smooth and I'll keep you guys posted uh, this is also not a how-to video this is a how we did it video so I'm not going to go through every single little step there's tons of uh, resources on YouTube on how to hook up a mini split but you guys will get the idea of how we did it in our RV and then go check out those resources as well all right it's here our new mini split so it's time to unbox it and get this bad boy installed Just like that. That's pretty solid. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Will it? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so this was a little bit of a head scratcher, but I ultimately wanted to build out this wall a little bit so that the face of the air handler is sticking out so that we don't blow right into this cabinet so it's actually coming out. Uh, what I ended up doing is taking a couple two by threes screw them to the top and the bottom since I don't really want to screw too much into this back wall and put a lot of weight on it uh, there's some stringers running through here and on the top and then I also just anchored it with some some angle brackets right here 
and then I'm going to take a piece of plywood and I'm going to mount it on top of that and that's going to build out that wall to the point where now I can mount my bracket for the air handler right on this uh, plywood once I get this mounted. So that should bring bring us pretty flush with the front of this uh, this cabinet. Alright, so here we go. Alright guys, so we are going to build the outside rack for the condensing unit that we're going to mount on the bumper with some Unistrut. I went ahead and painted it black, uh, just some spray paint to kind of blend it in a little bit with the bumper. And I'm just going to cantilever it out. This particular mini split, I didn't realize I actually need some airflow in the back, so I got to push it out a little bit further than I expected, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to make two rails. I'm going to sandwich two parts around the bumper with some carriage bolts. Then I'm going to mount the condenser right on here. So let's cut the pieces that we need and I'll show you guys how I'm going to put this together. All right, so this is the bracket mount that I made and it's a piece of longer Unistrut. So that's long enough to put the uh, condenser out here, give it some airflow in the back. It's sandwiched in between another shorter piece of Unistrut. I did an 8 inch carriage bolt, which actually conveniently falls right into the holes, so that'll tighten the top. Uh, the bottom has a washer, a lock washer, and then the nut. So two of those sandwiched together. That's going to be real rigid. And I'm going to do another one right over here, and it's going to line up with the feet, the mounting feet of the air conditioner. So something like that is what it's going to look like on the bumper. Damn, that's good. Damn, I did that think good. Damn.
say, pull it back just a hair. Oh, yeah, you're good. All right, we got everything preliminarily hooked up. We're going to evacuate the line, and then we're going to release the refrigerant into the system and cross our fingers and hope it works. So let's get going. And 15 mm -hmm. minutes to suck out all the air. And if it holds pressure, we know we have a good seal. And if not, we'll have to readdress that, but here we go. All right, so we evacuated the lines. We let it set with some pressure on it, didn't drop. Uh, so I released the Freon and we just turned it on. So we're just trying everything out. I just temporarily have a lead cord to it. Uh, we will hardwire it in once I'm comfortable with it. And I do my tests with a kilowatt just to see how much power it draws. I just soaked the line just to make sure and cross your fingers so far so good. So let's see if this thing runs for a little bit and see what it does. So we'll keep you guys in the loop. All right, we are now in the future. This is about five months from when we did the install and we've lived with the system for a little bit. So let's give you an update on how everything's going and if this would be a good fit for your RV. So right now the unit is on and running. We've used it in cooling mode and now it's October, so we're using it in heating mode, which is, works great for both. Uh, as you can see, we probably still want to dress up these lines a little bit, but they come out here, and we drill the hole in our balance over here, and we tuck the line set right here behind the curtain, and then we drill through the floor behind the couch. So when you're looking at it, you really can't tell that there's lines running here, which is what we wanted, a nice clean look. Um, as far as the unit inside, it's been working great. It actually it's completely quiet it's on right now and it just constantly blows air in here and keeps it at temperature so it's a lot better than the on and off of the rooftop unit and it keeps it a lot more comfortable because I think it takes a lot of the humidity out of the RV and just just makes it all around more comfortable so we've been very happy with the performance on the inside and I'll show you guys outside what we ended up having to do after our first trip all right guys we are outside and the unit is mounted on the bumper like we showed you before the problem that we had after our first trip was that this did bounce a bit there was a spring to it when we hit a lot of bumps and that hard copper connection that i showed you earlier on the video broke the seal just with this unit flexing up and down so we ended up rectifying that problem with some flexible hose the three foot section from here to the hard pipe and that allows this to flex so while there's spring going down the road it's not breaking that seal so that's very important we also put an extra strap on here just to keep it a little bit more in place. Uh, as far as the specs on this unit, this is a one ton, 12,000 BTU. It's a 19 sear. The higher the sear, the more efficient it's gonna be. And it's the 120 volt model, which is important that you get that for an RV because RVs run on 120 volts. So this unit has been great for us. It works, we get a lot of comments in the campgrounds, as you can imagine. And um, we're pretty happy with the install so far. So we'll leave a link to this guy in case you wanna check it out for your RV. One more thing, we did try this guy on solar for anybody who's looking to run this unit on a solar system. With the kilowatt installed, the maximum wattage is 1100 watts when it starts up, when it ramps up, and when it's running, it's roughly about 600 watts. So we can run this guy on our solar. It will start it up, it will run it. We don't have enough solar panels to keep it running all day. We can get a couple hours out of this in full sun pretty easy. And then as we ramp up our solar, we'll definitely get that um, going full time. All right, so if you're still here at the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And you guys are probably really interested in installing a mini split in your RV. So hopefully this helped out. Feel free to leave us any comments below if you have any questions or if anything we can help you out with. And check out this unit in our link below. Um, see if it's going to work for you as well. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next how-to video.